Barry Island. It's known for its beautiful beach and family-friendly atmosphere. But now it's a building site. The construction work on the island is part of a £4 million project funded by the Welsh Government to improve the look of the seafront. Plans include a new building on the east side and repaving the walkway here on the west side, but residents fear these refurbishments will come at a greater cost. These mosaics were paved into the Western Promenade 20 years ago and were made by a local school, but years of wear and tear have damaged the artwork. The council said the panels were too damaged to be repaired and would have to be torn up as part of the development work, but campaigners say the mosaics are worth saving. In the first instance they cost a lot of money, by, even by today's standards. It looked pretty, um, it drew people into the area to, to look at it, because it, is, it, is a, it was a work of art, there's no doubt about that at all. I don't think they could repeat it today, but they could have preserved it, and it's as simple as that. And that's what people think on the island. Residents who want to keep the mosaics on the promenade have criticised the council for not doing enough to protect them after they were installed. Marco Zaraski has worked on the island for 45 years. His cafe is right next to the mosaics and he says they've been damaged by vehicles driving on the walkway. Those mosaics were put there for vehicles not to be driven over. But unfortunately, with the, the events we get on Barry Island, a lot of HGVs come down here, buses and what have you, and they weren't designed to take that weight. And that's when the cracks appeared, then you get the elements. It's a neglect over several councils that's caused this. Locals have managed to persuade the council to save some of the mosaics with the least damage, but some people still say the building work on the east side is being prioritised over the development of the rest of the promenade, and features like the mosaics are being overlooked. People are saying, well look, I know, you, you know, you invest an awful lot of money on the eastern end of the promenade, and yet for the sake of a, you know, a digger and cutting out these mosaics, why can't they be saved? It's, it's like as if they, well that's too hard, that's too difficult, that's not a photo opportunity, but that is. The Vale of Glamorgan Council weren't available to comment on the opposition to their plans, but in a statement they did tell us that they were working to salvage two areas of mosaic that were in the best condition to be reused on the island in the future. Now they didn't tell us exactly what their plans were for the artwork or where the mosaics were now going to go, as their focus is very much on the continued refurbishment of the seafront and the promenade itself. So as the island undergoes a major facelift before trade starts up again this summer, residents will have to wait on the council to confirm where the old mosaics will fit into their new look promenade. Emma Williams, CGS News, Barry Island.